Hey Harry Potter fans, Peter Kenneth here. Welcome back to the Potter Collector channel where we are a community of collectors. Today we are opening up the November Loot Crate Wizarding World box. I realize that I am a little late in opening up this box, but hey, better late than never. Here's the side of the box and it has a Chamber of Secrets door sticker on it. So I wonder if that's part of the theme. I have not looked at any of the other unboxings online because I wanted to be surprised. On the side we have that Loot Crate logo. And of course the Wizarding World logo on the front. I'll let you guys see first. It's like the pathway to the Chamber of Secrets. Well, I guess you're in the Chamber of Secrets, but to Slytherin's statue with the snakes on the side. Looks like we have a t-shirt in here from the looks of it. It's Deathly Hollows. Mirror of Erised. Nice. Oh, it's like mini. An umbrella. Okay. I'm guessing this is a pin. I think all of the Loot Crate boxes come with a limited edition pin. This is only my second Loot Crate box. Um, possibly a print of some kind, and then the information. But let's take a look at the box. Oh, very, very neat. Look at this. So when you turn it upside down, it's like you're looking from this end, it's like you're looking down the pathway to the statue of Salazar Slytherin. And we have the basilisk here, and of course the snake statues on either end. That's really, really neat. Look at that. The Chamber of Secrets has been opened. Enemies of the air, beware. Let's take a look at the print first, might as well. Now these are the, the, the characters that they used or the actors or the, the faces they used for the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. It's really cool that these are on these art prints. Here is Godric Gryffindor, Miss Helga Hufflepuff, Rueno Ravenclaw, and Salazar Slytherin. I like that they have them in order. They're supposed to be Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, Slytherin. Because we know, as McGonagall says, they are Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, and Slytherin. These are very cool. I'm glad that they sent all four of these prints and didn't just limit it to the house that you ordered um, in the Loot Crate box, I think. Or maybe that's just geek gear that you order a specific box. I don't remember. Either way, I love having all four of these. All of you Ravenclaws out there, look at the animal that's behind Rowena Ravenclaw. An eagle. They got it right. Finally, some Harry Potter merch that got the Ravenclaw mascot, the Ravenclaw animal, correct. And it comes in a nice tissue paper envelope to uh, help protect them if you don't want to frame them or to protect them until you frame them. Let's take a look at the pin next. Now these are enamel pins, and I was impressed with the last one, which was Hedwig. They're not actually calling it Fox, they're calling it a Phoenix, but there is the Phoenix pin, but we all know that that's Fox. Let's do the umbrella next. This looks like a pretty nice umbrella, actually. It has this Harry Potter sleeve on it. And, oh, okay, so it has all four of the houses. So let's take this off. Here is the umbrella, which as I said has all four houses on it and some lightning bolts. So if it's raining in your office, you can use your Loot Crate house umbrella to keep you dry. Next up is what looks like the Deathly Hollows t-shirt. And it is indeed the Deathly Hollows. It shows all of the hollows on it. So it has the resurrection stone and the elder wand and then of course the invisibility cloak. Instead of just lines and a circle and a triangle, the rest of the shirt is completely black. It's very nice, it has some crows on the background, which we see when Hermione is reading the story. Cool shirt, I think I would actually wear this at like Wizarding World or something. And last but not least is that mini mirror of Erised. It's very, very cute. It's so small, oh my gosh. Look at how small, oh, there you are guys, say hello. Look at how small this is. I like the detailing on it. The only thing that I don't like is it doesn't have the wording at the top. I mean, it's kind of small for wording, but they could have done like scribbles or something to make it look like wording. So it's just this blank mirror. Um, it's the shape of the mirror, Vera said, but it doesn't have the writing at the top. Still a very cool prop for photos and everything, um, but a little bit disappointing 
that it doesn't have. Oh, is it a magnet? I've got to go test that. It's like solid black background, but I don't know if it's a magnet or not. It's not a magnet. It's still very cool. Uh, even though it doesn't have that writing on the top. And again, it'll make for a nice prop if you're taking Funko pictures or something. If you would like to sign up for your own Loot Crate subscription, look down below in the comments. I will post a link to where you go to subscribe to Loot Crate. If you don't want to subscribe to Loot Crate but want some of the items that you see in Loot Crate boxes, check eBay out. I see a lot of Loot Crate box items for sale on eBay. Sometimes I even sell some of them. And sometimes I do giveaways for the items that I don't need or want on Instagram or YouTube. So keep an eye out for those. Well, that was the November Loot Crate box. If you have any questions about Harry Potter, Harry Potter collecting, or anything you saw today, please feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also find me on Instagram at the Potter Collector. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. You can subscribe right up here. You can also look at some previously posted content down here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter books or collecting, please feel free to contact me. I'm always happy to help. But for now, I must go. See you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?